CNN played a role in the collapse of communism, not only in Eastern Europe, but among those Soviet republics uh, that were so closely held by Moscow. We were in Baku, Azerbaijan, and it was recognized. I was in a crowd of perhaps 10,000 people, and it was a political rally calling for independence from Moscow, and they recognized us. The three of us were walking out on the periphery, Jane Evans, Maria Fleet, and myself, and 10,000 people turned around, and they gave a rousing applause for CNN, just for who we were, because we were able to go beyond the borders, to leap across them with satellite news coverage, and it let them know what was happening in other countries. As a result of that, CNN was very much, very much a part of what was happening all across Eastern Europe, and people recognized it. Repeating once again our top story, Soviet President Mikhail Gorbachev has been removed from power and there are tanks now in the streets of Moscow. You know, the Soviet Union looked on as Eastern Europe, one country after another was collapsing and people were saying, well, why not us? As a young girl, I remember Communist Party members were setting fire to their party IDs. These were the people who had spent their lives serving the interests of the Soviet Union. It was definitely a turning point, the beginning of the end, and it made the collapse of the communist rule in Azerbaijan only a matter of time.